Hey everybody, I've updated the minimap package for Unity 5 and changed a few things. I want to make a quick video to walk you through setting this up since Unity doesn't always import things uh, properly, especially the layers. Uh, and I want to explain what everything does for you if you if you don't want to figure it out on your own. So first, import the package. And what we're going to do first is load up the demo scene for the overworld. That's under SFB minimap, demo, and uh, overworld demo. You'll notice all these cubes here and a first person controller right here in the middle. This is the new Unity 5 first person controller. Um, it's pretty much the same as the one before, just slightly different. Um, so these map objects here are going to be our hidden map objects. Um, and if, if you don't have layers already here, uh, you probably won't. You want to click add layer, you want a map hidden, map seen, and map only. Um, these map objects, you want to select map only and say yes change children. Uh, oh no, map only rather, map hidden, yes change children, uh, and that way every all these cubes will be map hidden. Anything you want to not show up on the mini map uh, by default should be uh, labeled as in the map, map hidden layer. Um, our map camera here uh, is going to do a couple things. Um, we're going to use the, the map camera script. Uh, I'll go through that real quick. We have the player object. Um, if it's not already assigned, I'm gonna the script will look for an object called player object. If you have a different player name, you can change that there, or just assign this in the uh, inspector. And the height, that's the height at which the camera will stay above the uh, player object. It's basically a camera that looks straight down, uh, orthographic view. And it, if you look in the um, uh, coloring mask here, it's only going to look for map scene and map only objects. This arrow. Uh, is a map only object and you can see it in the mini map right here in the game view and that stays above the player it's at the player rotation and position so uh, the mini map can see that error you can change that texture if you'd like as well to suit your own needs um, so next we have the uh, edge tech normal effect this is a standard script but this is how we get the hand drawn look if you turn it on as long as edge is only set to one you'll get this look where um, it looks more like paper you can actually bring edge is only down a little bit and mix the two together. Uh, that can be a cool effect as well. Turn it off, we'll turn it off of course. So let's quickly look and see what happens when we press play. Already we're in the middle of these four cubes and um, as we walk forward you can see that more cubes are being added to the minimap. Now they don't disappear when we go over, just as we get close to them, then they are seen by the uh, minimap all of a sudden. The way that works is the first person controller has a script on it, our map cast ray script. This is the script that you're going to uh, add onto your player character. Let's open that and look through that. Um, it has a few variables. The distance is how far the player can see, how far away the objects have to be before they'll be visible by the script. Um, anything beyond that will not be switched to the map scene. The refresh rate, uh, it's defaulted to one second. This is a, a thing for, for your speed. Um, if, you're, if your game is running super fast and you have extra time, you can increase that to something crazy fast if you'd like, uh, if you really want that to be updated all the time. If it's not as important, just lower pace game. One second is fine, and that, that'll um, reduce the amount of uh, uh, drain this has on your CPU and whatnot. Um, it's not a very heavy script at all either way, so it doesn't really matter, but that's there. Um, Max, max height and max uh, and min height. This uh, basically says how far on the y-axis the object can be in order to be seen. Um, if you have a, a dungeon, for instance, that has multiple levels above and below the player, uh, you want the min height to be pretty pretty small. So it'll only search for objects that are within negative two y uh, position of the player and then positive 10 above the player as well. You can adjust those to, to suit your own needs. And the search mask inside the editor, um, you can you can choose what to look for. We're only going to be looking for a map hidden, so make sure map hidden is the only one checked there. Again, if you had to add the layers up here, then you're going to probably have to reset this as well. Um, in anything that has a layers, these layers, you're going to have to reset it. Uh, so back to the script here. Um, at the start, we invoke a, repeat, a repeating function, find hidden map at the re refresh rate, and it starts immediately, so it does it right away. 
uh, and we gather lifts using a, an overlap sphere from the uh, player position distance using our search mask and that collects all the objects in that sphere now make sure of course that all the objects do have to have a non-trigger collider on them of some sort uh, that's important as well otherwise they won't be seen by the overlap sphere uh, and then for each of the map objects in that sphere we check to make sure the Y position is within that min and max height range and if it is we change the layer to map scene now the next time it runs it won't be seen by this overlap sphere because the overlap sphere is only looking for map hidden this uh, old code is what we used before we're leaving it there just in case you want to check it out and use it but I'm pretty sure this is a lot faster uh, and more efficient for your system now if we load up the uh, dungeon demo don't save that uh, this one's already set to have the on the map camera to have the edge detect normals on um, and again we want to make sure that these are all set to map hidden yes change children because there's a whole bunch of objects in here and we want them all to be map hidden uh, and our first person controller uh, we want to make sure that the map cast rays is looking for map had hidden only uh, and the map camera has a culling mask for map scene and map only. Um, the map player position, by the way, also has a, it just follows the player around. The script is very, very simple. However, um, it's important that it's in the map only layer and that the player object is assigned or that your player object is called player controller in your in your hierarchy. Um, it is important the layer map is uh, map only assigned, otherwise your main camera will end up seeing it. If you're in a third person game, that would be quite kind of terrible. Um, so let's press play and see what we get. So here we have, uh, we're walking through, you can see the mini map populating. One thing you can do with the camera is change the uh, clipping planes to see the depth. Um, in order to see that, you can actually see these white lines right here. That's your clipping planes. Uh, anything within those planes will be visible by the camera. Anything outside of them will not be. Uh, you can see right here as I go above the uh, player arrow, it disappears. Uh, this is helpful when you have a ceiling or other objects that might block the camera. Uh, the other issue is the size. The further out you have, the larger the size, the more you'll see. So if we push play again, uh, keep that size large, then the map is actually quite quite bigger than it was before. And as we walk through, you can see more of the map being populated. Um, you can easily write a script to increase and decrease that size if you'd like for your own game. And lastly, the uh, view port rect is where the map shows up in the screen. We have it set to 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and 1, 1. If you uh, change it over, it's basically from left to right. So 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 would increase the size of it. Uh, generally, you want to keep those numbers the same. So if you, again, if you write a script to resize it in your game, probably the, keeping those numbers is the same. However, you could uh, make a more square map if you prefer. Uh, we'll put these back to 0 0.8 though and 0 0.8 um, and of course if you really want to you could do 0, 0 and do a full screen map for people um, and that's about it um, let me know if you have any questions it's pretty easy to set up uh, and it works quite well in, in, in the game uh, and, and let me know if you have any questions enjoy